with 34 years suspended. Brent Solomon was in court for today's testimony and has details in our top story. The state says Ken Yu Chung should have never been behind the wheel if he knew he was unfit to drive. His defense attorney said today he had no choice. I think he was a man trying to keep his job. Defense attorney Taylor Stone says Chung only wanted to obey his managers when he drove a bus carrying 56 people even though he was tired. Chung admitted to dozing off. Four passengers died when the bus went off the road and overturned. One of them, Karen Blyden, who leaves behind an 11-year-old daughter. In court today, her brother testified their family is devastated. I know the judge didn't like my use of the word accident, but that's, you know, there was there was no intent on my client's behalf. Shung apologized for his actions to the victims and families that appeared in court to hear the sentence. He essentially said, I, I wish I'd died instead of the others. Though Shung has no prior criminal history, the prosecutors say the driver must be held accountable. The judge agreed, sentencing Shung to six active years behind bars. Six years is appropriate. More would have been appropriate. I don't think less would have been appropriate. Chung listened to the case against him today with the help of this interpreter. Can, can you say how Mr. Chung feels? Or his I reaction? Cannot, I cannot comment on this whatsoever. Who? But Chung's attorney is suggesting his client never wanted to be in this position. I don't think my client wanted to be driving that leg of the trip. Why did he? Um, because I think he was told to drive Judge Ellis told Chung, quote, you are not an evil person. You're a good person who made a bad choice. He also suggested that this case should serve as a mirror for anyone else who chooses to put other people's lives in danger. In Caroline County, I'm Brent Solomon, NBC 12 News.